All right, y'all, part two for our waiting on the Lord. <clears throat> These are Bible scriptures that will help us get through with waiting for our Lord, with our decisions. And this one is what I do, God, is wait for you. Wait for my Lord, my God, you will answer. That was Psalms 3815 in the message. And then my second one for this one is we have come to share in Christ if we hold firmly to the end, the to the end, the confidence we had at first. So, you know, bearing in with hope, we knew that this was, things were going to come, and we, you know, we started going through trials and tribulations, and then at that point, are like, oh, is this still going to happen? Is this still coming? Is this still my journey? And if he brought it to your thought into your forefront. It is definitely something that is of you and for you. And we just got to keep the faith and stay confident that we know that our God is going to answer all of those things in his time and not our own. So all things that are being done greatly, um, the, the, it, ain't, it ain't over unless it, all things are good, you know. So if you're still going through a bad time, then, then you know that it's coming. It's just a matter of time. And we, when all things are good or when those things are, are answered, because they will be good at some point. Keep your head up, y'all. Keep your faith. Stay strong. And um, I will be back later on with the other book, okay?